one two. Okay, that's what fine. Okay, we got one two mics. Okay, let's get going. Okay, hi everyone. So I'm Francesco, founder and technical director at Erling Solutions, but I'm also founding member of the Erling Ecosystem Foundation and have been on the board of directors since. Well, we founded, set up the foundation in 2019, exactly. I think it was, yeah. we announced it, yeah. So th these are our present current board members. Um, the, we do have an election going on at the moment. So for those of you who are members, uh, please get on and you know, put in your vote. Uh, I do want to make a shout out to Fred Hebert. He's stepping down. Uh, some of you guys would have known what he's done and worked on. Uh, and he's been very useful on the board. He, I, he's a... Exception, I, I'm very personally very sorry that he's stepping down and we're going to lose him because he's been very useful in terms of keeping us on track and focused on good things. But anyway. He'll still be focusing on good, good things through the work groups. I which think so. Is, yeah, which but, is exactly what happened when Jose stepped down as well from the board. So it leaves yeah. him more time to get us into trouble. <laughs> exactly. So um, this is an update on our membership. Uh, and since these numbers were published for the AGM last year, we've had pretty linear growth. So we're over 1,400 uh, members now. Um, and I think we're going to start, we usually see upticks of membership and people getting interested in joining when we have conferences and events. So that's certainly one of our sort of observations to you is like join. It's not that expensive. It's, you it's know, actually free. A member. Yes. Just become a member. <laughs> so sign up. Yeah, and you can sign up uh, through the earlyf.org uh, website. Yeah, it's free. And uh, you get access to the Slack channel, um, all of the, well, all of the groups and so on. And we'll say more about it. Now, um, th we have also a section of membership which consists of paying members. But I think a large part of the donation donations come from uh, our sponsors. We've got companies who are able to sponsor and we've got um, three tiers. Um, I think the smallest group is for $3,000, $5,000 and $10,000, which is the minimum donation based on the size of the company. And you know, these are all of the supporting members who allow us, we have 31 sponsors in total. Um, and it basically allows us then to go out and use the funds, not only to run the foundation, but also uh, to, to pay for the infrastructure, but also you know, most of it gets handed out in stipends, which we're going to look at in a second. So if you have uh, employers, uh, go tell them, join them. If you've got the buying power and the decision power, yeah, it's a few thousand dollars. Yeah, you should, yeah, if you can sign it up, uh, just come speak to us afterwards. Yeah, I, I do think uh, I would encourage it. And I'll talk a little bit later. One of the points I've got about is happening about related to EU regulation. And I do think you need to be interested. We do need to form lobby groups. We do need to be associated with that. So it's in your interests, both you and your company's interests, to be involved with the foundation. Um, these are the 12 working groups we have active at the moment. It's fair to say that COVID wasn't very kind to some of them. So now that everybody's getting re-energized and active about things, uh, that is a plea to get involved with working groups if you're interested. Um, quite a lot of useful work has been done uh, by people collaborating in these environments and they'd encourage you to get involved. If you see anything here that tickles your fancy, please sign up and become a member. Great. And I think you know, see these working groups as a collection of contacts and it's an amazing contact network. You know, we found you know, prior to setting up these working groups that there were you know, three or four different activities, and three or four different people independently trying to solve the same problem. This is a forum you know, for everyone to come together and actually solve the problems once and not you know, four times. Um, one of the major things that the board does with the funds that we get is to actually hand out these stipends. This is only for the last sort of 12 months. Uh, it's not covered everything else because it wouldn't have fit on the slide. We're handing out somewhere in the region of about 50,000 a year. And it, it could be more if you have useful and interesting things you want to do. Um, we do want things to be working generically for people in the community. Uh, last talk that I was in in this room, Coco's libraries were mentioned, um, and there's a bunch of other useful things that we've had going on in, in other areas, including the just uh, the JIT work and other things that we've sponsored, which I think everybody benefits from. So we're not looking to 
pay and fund very vertical niche things. We're looking to get things working that benefits the generic and general community. But as you can see, there's a very broad list of people who've gotten involved here from academia to individuals and companies. And we're willing to listen to um, any suggestions that come our general that in come our general direction. And on top of actual work, I think um, a lot of stipends go to diversity and inclusion at conferences, yes. at events, um, training, and so on. Uh, you know, we've got an amazing work group which kind of focuses on that. And so you know, we channel the funds through them. Right, I think, yeah, I did want to mention that as well. There's over 40 people attending remotely here, which is part of the diversity stuff. And we are very focused as a community of getting diverse groups involved. And we were sort of very supportive of the event last year in Africa and anywhere else that you want to get involved in bringing other people into the community. We see that as one of our jobs. Um, it keeps coming up as a topic that whenever we talk to businesses, it's always where do I get developers from? So um, we're very interested in trying to get the next generation of programmers involved from all walks of life and all locations. So this is a bit of a um, left turn on this. Uh, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but we are in Europe. The European Union has uh, currently got something called the Cyber Resiliency Act that it is promulgating. And they're very interested in making sure that uh, people who write software don't write crappy software and that it doesn't affect people's lives. So basically, they're representing the interests of the voters. And they want to make sure that people's information doesn't get stolen, their identities don't get stolen, their content from video cameras doesn't get sent to the wrong parties. And they want to make sure that people are held accountable and liable for this. So if you're familiar with the concept of the CE mark, they're trying to drive this into the software supply chain. If you're building software for your own business purposes and you're gonna be selling it, it will bite. This is gonna happen in Europe. Um, I'm very interested in talking to people about the open source aspects of things. We as the Beam are actually an open source project. I think we will ultimately end up having to have the infrastructure and technology in place just to pr provide um, CICD infrastructure and the ability to be able to do supply chain management for software in order to be able to support these needs. So if anybody's interested in this space, I'm spending a lot of time at the moment in Brussels, talking to other foundations and other groups that are interested in this type of thing, please come and find me tomorrow. I'd like to network on this particular topic. That's what I'm very focused on at the moment. Anybody actually heard of this? Hands up. Okay, that's good. Okay, so any, but anybody who hasn't, and if you think you need to pay attention, come find me, I'll give you the elevator pitch. And that's it. Uh, so parting request, please join a working group. Please become an EF member. And please talk to your employer or company and get them to become a sponsor. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.